Hi, I'm Firefighter Brian Rodella from Hazmat Task Force 129. We're here to talk today about a common instrument found on every post position, the Ultra Radiac Canberra Personal Dissimilar. Come on inside, we'll take a look at it. The Personal Dissimilar is designed to detect gamma radiation and also help document radiation absorbed dosages on scene. It is an aluminum construction powered by four AAA batteries. It has an LCD screen, push buttons, and a variety of audible and visual alarms. The dissimilar comes with a case where the hook and loop enclosure can be removed, exposing the instrument side panel for the battery access plate. There is a diagram to indicate the orientation of the batteries. And with a screwdriver or turning the wire quarter turn counterclockwise, you can access the battery compartment. To turn the power on, press the on-off button, the unit will power up. After stabilizing, it will indicate the normal background radiation, which should not exceed 20 microrem per hour. Once the first responder recognizes that they've reached two times normal background, a barrier shall be erected so nobody shall go past that point without proper authorization. As you look at the instrument along the top, you will notice that it indicates in the rate mode. This is the current rate of absorption that you are receiving. To indicate the dosage that you have received over a period of time, simply press the dose button and the dose will be indicated. This can be used for documentation and safety of personnel at the conclusion of the incident. If it doesn't already do so, you may push the rate button and it will return right back to the rate. To clear out the dose to ensure that you have an accurate reading, simply hold the dose button and the clear test button at the same time. It will flash several times and then it will zero out. This should be done prior to any incident to make sure you get an accurate reading of the absorbed dose for proper documentation. Notice along the side that we indicate what the current rate is, either in micro rem per hour, milli rem per hour, or rem per hour. When you indicate the dose button, it will indicate the total dose in micro rem, milli rem, or rem as the total dose absorbed. To do a test of the instrument, simply press and hold the clear test button. The instrument will go through a system check. It will count up, indicating all numbers, all dosages, and all alarms. And at the conclusion, if it's in calibration, it will flash with a number nine. If it flashes a number six, it indicates that the instrument needs to have its batteries changed. And if it indicates with a zero, that means it needs to go in for calibration. Now we're gonna go over some close-up operation of the instrument to talk about the alarms and their settings. To test your alarms, press your alarm button and your dose button at the same time, and you will see an H. If you push it dose again, it will indicate an L. This is for your high and for your low alarms. For your high dose alarm, you'll push the clear test button and you'll notice that your high alarm for dose is at 10 rem. Press the clear test button again and it will go back to the dose mode. Pressing the alarm and dose again to test your low alarm, it will indicate Five rem. To test your rate alarms, the exact same thing will occur. Press your alarm and your rate button. You have your high, and your high alarm is at 10 rem per hour for your rate. For your low alarm, it is at 2 milli rem per hour, which is the boundaries of the exclusion zone because of the low frequency yet high risk nature of this type of incident. All personnel should review this on a regular basis to ensure proficiency and safety. Thanks for being with us today.